Valentine's Day often means the gift of flowers, and Tamer from Tamer's Trends has expert advice on how to keep those Valentine's Day blossoms even longer. So Tamer, why culturally do we like to give and receive flowers? It's something that makes us feel special. It's a unique thing that you do for an individual and I never realized how much it meant until I receive flowers, which I don't generally do because I own a flower shop. And it makes you feel like you're the most important person in the world at that moment. And I never forgot that feeling. And so when I give flowers or when I present flowers for other people to give, I understand what how it makes them feel and that they are just on top of the world that day. And I don't think a lot of people realize it until they receive the gift. Now, roses are really popular for Valentine's Day, but let's talk about this new exciting thing that you have for roses. What's going on with roses? Well, people love new and different. They always love the traditional red, but they love to see something exciting and different. So black roses are hot right now. So we can do that for people. It doesn't have to mean anything negative. It's still something beautiful. Um, and what we do is we just take a red rose and we modify that so that it shows a little black hue. So it's still not a solid black and you still get the red undertone, but they're fantastic. We call them Black Magic, Black Baccarat. It's just one of those things that we can do for you to add a little pizzazz to your arrangement um, or any other color rose that you want. We can do blue. We can do any kind of like a, a hot pink on top of another color. Um, it just changes the look of the rose so that it's not that same old, same old. Now roses are sometimes considered a little bit harder maintenance. How would you want to make your roses last longer this Valentine's Day? Well definitely roses have that um, idea behind them that they are not long la as long lasting as some flowers. So what we have done is we've selected particular varieties that have been bred for longevity. So these roses unfortunately have lost most of their scent it's kind of a give and take. You can't really have both. So these roses that we bring in for Valentine's Day and, and every day of the year have the ability to last longer, but it is care. So keeping them cool is important. They don't have to be in a fridge, but if you take them and put them under some hot lights, well, they're going to open very quickly and they're going to not perform as well. If in the evening you put them somewhere cool in your home, it's going to make them last that much longer. Changing the water out every day is going to keep the bacteria and the growth uh, from going collecting in the vase and causing the flowers to rot and therefore die. If you're doing the arrangement yourself at home, if you purchase extra greenery that always makes them look that much better in the vase, but when you do that you have to make sure that any stem that's under the water is completely stripped of any greenery because that will rot and also cause them to die. So any anything like that and also adding the preservative in the water. Now you also have some add-ons too that you can put on the bouquets. Can you speak to some popular ones that are you're coming up with this season? Of course, the balloon is always a traditional one um, and it makes somebody feel so excited, especially when it gets delivered to their work. When the balloon comes in, everybody smiles and they're like, oh, I wish it was for me. Is it for me? And then it goes to somebody else and they're like, oh. <laughs> or you can add a teddy bear. I have one gentleman that has been coming to me for probably 10 years and every year he brings me his own teddy bear, his own chocolates and his own vase. And then I put red roses in it and we deliver it to his girlfriend at work, uh, fiance now, and um, they are. She's in love with it, and it's one of those things that he does every year. And she knows it's coming, but it's still exciting. You may wish to keep some of Tamar's expert advice in mind this Valentine's Day when you're giving or receiving flowers. For Gosu Saint Marie, I'm Anne Gordonier.